question is from the number systems we have been given the single precision floating point representation of a real number as per ieee 754 standards it is like sin bit exponent and then mantissa bits so we know that how do we perform ieee 754 representation of floating point numbers we have a 32 bit integer sin exponent and mantissa so we have 32 bit a uh, real number in which we represent it sin bit is 1 bit then 8 for exponent and remaining 23 for mantissa this is a single precision that's why it is 32 bit otherwise in double precision we go for 64 bits so now for this representation they are asking us which of the following choices is correct with respect to the smallest normalized positive number represented using the standard so we want to represent the smallest possible positive number using this representation so how do we represent numbers using this we do it is normalized form so we'll go for implicit normalization like um, minus 1 raised to the sin bit then 1 point mantissa means whatever bits are there in the mantissa we place them over here then we do 2 to the power of exponent minus the bias the bias we generally go for is 127 so this is how we represent the numbers using this representation So, if we were to find out the smallest possible positive number, then what would be the values of exponent and the mantissa? That is to be found out. Now, we know that if we have exponent as all zeros, means eight zeros are there in the exponent, and in mantissa part we have all zeros again, then this represents a zero. And instead, if we have all ones in the exponent and all zeros in the mantissa part. then that represents infinity either plus or minus infinity depending upon your sign bit so all of both of these choices are excluded then how will we represent the smallest positive number let us check the options exponent is all zeros mantissa is all zeros so we just discarded it being zero next is exponent is all zeros mantissa is one at the rightmost end but as you know uh, how do we Uh, place the bits in the mantissa they are placed from this left to right side the leftmost bit has the smallest weight if this mantissa has to be placed over here it would be 1.000 so on 22 zeros followed by this one so in order to reach this one you will have to multiply it with 2 to the power 22 or 23 in order to skip all these places and come over here so this is definitely not going to be a smallest positive number third one is exponent is 1 mantissa is all zeros so this seems to be a, a possible candidate for the answer and similarly going for the last one exponent is 1 mantissa is again one at the right end so we'll definitely discard this one because we cannot skip these many decimal points to reach that one it will definitely not give the smallest positive so again this one is discarded we are just left with option c which is one in the exponent and all zeros in the mantissa let us check what number does it actually represent so let us erase this and write that here using the implicit notation itself the number which the c option will represent is the sign bit is not given so we'll assume it to be positive number because anyway we have to get the positive number so it has to be one itself so that that part is skipped we'll go for 1 point m what is meant is here all zero so we can write just 1 zero doesn't matter into 2 to the power now exponent is just a 1 and we will add to it the bias of 127 so it will be 1 minus 127 so that becomes 1.0 into 2 to the power minus 126 or this is zero after the decimal point so we can simply skip this part and write it as 2 to the power minus 126 so this is the smallest positive number we can represent in this number format so the correct answer would be c the smallest positive number represented in the standard is denoted by option c